here at the Marvel booth. Yeah. Uh, who are you? Yeah, I'm Debbie Wang, uh, technical manager for Marvel. So you talk about the cloud and networking mm -hmm. infrastructure, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, how big is Marvel a player in this this market? Oh, I think we are play a lot, especially yeah. in the uh, SS switching marketing. I think we have uh, uh, almost six and seventy percent in the Giga SS marketing. So you are the leader in yeah. this market, yes. uh, and you make all these uh, switches, network switches. Yes. And uh, what kind of processors inside? Uh, we using ARM. Marvel invest a lot in ARM technology since 10 years ago. So our solution, actually including every product line, we're using a lot of ARM processor code. So uh, right here, for example, yeah. what are we looking at here? Yeah. Here we have ARM SOC. It's a Cortex E9. Is it there? Core. Where? Yeah, here. Right there? Yeah. Dual Core Cortex E9? Yes. And what does it do? And what does this one do? What is uh, all these? Yeah, for the other, that's the uh, switching Mac. And this is the Giga 5. Uh, actually, the 10 gig 5. 10 gig, 10 gig, 10 gig, so 10 gig. So, all 10, for 24 port is up to 24 port 10 gig. Plus, we have additional two 40 gig port. And uh, what, is, what kind of processor do you have in this? Do you have a single core, dual core? Uh, depending on different product. For example, this is the entry level 8 key plus 2 key. Over here, we only need the lower performance using single core ARM, also Cortex A9. So, uh, when do you have to use single core? When do you have to use dual core? Uh, when we using the SS, I think uh, single core Cortex A9 should be good enough. But when we update to the upgradation there, we may need to have a more computing power. Then we can upgrade to dual core ARM processor. So a network switch like this, uh, what software does it run? What uh, do you run on this ARM Cort uh, Cortex A9? Okay. So uh, I think typically we need to have uh, some management so run on top of it. So. Uh, for user, at least uh, you need to provide a command line and also need to have a web, a GUI interface to, uh, for management purpose. And in addition to, I think typically you need to have a lot of layer two management protocol, like a spanning tree, like you need to implement uh, the aggregation there, like LACP. And you also need to implement some management protocol like SMMP. So they will have a lot of a management protocol require on um, management switching. Uh, how about security? Is this important? Yes, also security become more and more important. Our ARM SOC typically also have a security engine embedded to help for all the encryption, description. So that's a Cortex A9. Yeah. So uh, uh, it's possible to, to in the future to get uh, some of the newer chips that you're talking about? in that kind of market? Mm -hmm. uh, when you talk about the 70-40, the 80-40, does that go in the network switch market? Uh, yes, uh, the answer is yes. In the higher end, for example, in the data centers area, right now, I think in data center area, most of the uh, using processors here Intel, but we believe the ARM, especially Cortex A72 is a high performance processor, uh, in the future, I think we are going to approach the marketing with the Cortex A72. What's the newest uh, switch technology you're talking about here? Uh, here we talk about uh, 10 key and 40 key switching. Uh, what kind of products are you showing here? What is this? This Asus here. Oh, this is, this is uh, for consumer product. So this is uh, for. Um, a consumer label product, so it's 8 port giga plus 2 port 10 gig. This is suitable for some professional user, especially like gaming marketing. All right, professional users. Yeah. But maybe soon, <laughs> uh, people are getting gigabit internet at home. Yeah. Maybe they will get 10 gigabit internet very soon. Yes. Maybe next year, right? Yes. And then they will get need to get new switching at home and stuff. Yes. So, so therefore, this switching actually already have a 10 gig uh, SS port. So once you have a, a 10 gig SS on home, or you have a high performance up to 10 gig, then you can using the port to internet 
and to the high-performance NAS. So in there you have dual-core Cortex-9, or what do you have in there? Uh, this bus we this uh, for uh, uh, home user, so it doesn't have a processor embedded. All right. Cool. Okay. So this is it. The, we're talking about the uh, what is this Alicat three? Yeah, that's our SS switch. So this bus we provide eight port, two point five gig SS. Plus we have a two port ten gig. I think in the future, Marvel believe the SS marking are going to be upgraded from current one gig to two point five gig. So this two point five gig each port. Yeah. Instead of gigabit, yes. so it's 2.5 times faster yes. for each port. Yeah, and still the benefit is still you can remain using the exact Cat 5e cabling system. The same cable. Yeah, the same cable. Exactly the same cable. That's the most advantage for that. How do you uh, switch? How do you get more data in there? It's just some different algorithms in the cable. Uh, it goes a little they faster. have a new standard called IEEE 802 DAX 3 BV spec. I think I'm going to uh, release on by end of this year. What kind of processor do you have in there? This is also Cortex A9 dual core. All right, so your uh, Cortex A9 solution for yeah. Switch is very Our stable. Entry level solution right now stay for Cortex A9. Either single core or dual core depend on the performance requirement. Entry level and the high level. High level, we have uh, uh, right now we have uh, up to two gigahertz. The entry level, I think the processor will stay about eight hundred mega. So what processor you have in the high level? High level, maybe I have the Cortex seventy two and fifty three. In the future, it will become ARM sixty four bit. Right now, this entry level is stay with ARM seventy two bit.